Hello guys, it's EV Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it's High KW with 832 rating versus uh, Money Sign Triv Gaming with 510 rating. I don't know if this is the real one or not, uh, but let's hop right in. Obviously, it's going to be another high rated one. Uh, this is a pretty high rated match for the beginning of the format, if you ask me. And he won the die roll, he chooses to go first. The opening hand is Lapis, Imperm, Valor, Minstrel, Goons. One thing I don't like about Mermail is that it's a really, it's a die roll deck, it really is. Uh, if it wins the die roll, it is hard to beat it. But if it loses the die roll, it's really hard for it to win. I did open up Combo here, and then he opened Jester, uh, Mighty Master, Restage, Souls, Abductor. I don't know why Jester's in there. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, Minstrel, get rid of Minstrel and Goons. Uh, banishes Jester. And then Goons effect. Since there's no hand traps, he wants to hit the worst card in hand, so that way his Moon Glacia can hit the best cards in hand. And then adds Diva, and then summon Diva, bring out Prince. Send goons, add goons, goons, add moon glacia. Makes needle. And then needle effect, bring out O lion. Special out moon glacia. So he's bringing out O lion off needle, which is different. Definitely different than what we're used to seeing. He's going to make Link Cross, uses that effect, brings out only one token, then he's going to make Metal, O-Line, and Metal effect go off. Links in the Needle, and then links into the Mechum Phantom Beast, uses that effect. Uh, then he's going to go in the Croc, draw two. Draws Nib and Tia, so now he has like three hand traps. Uh, discards Goons, brings out Tias, Goons and Tias, add Abyss Neary, uh, hold up, I'm not exactly sure what this does. Alright, alright, so it's like a whack hand trap, the only thing I knew that I did is if it was sent from Field to Grave, draw one. Uh, then he adds Diva. Uh, getting rid of three monsters for the Trish Fusion. And then makes VFD, set Imperm Pass. One thing about Pendulum is I feel like it'd be one deck that could play through VFD just because Mighty Master, uh, its scale effect is so strong. Like this thing, like, single-handedly just, like, beat Striker. He's gonna call Dark. He's going to admit defeat. I have no idea what he's doing. I'm just going to skip forward. Yeah, Alright. So now, game two. I know that was a very, very, very quick game one. But now game two, we're going to see what Pendulum can do going first. Opening hand is Gamma, Evenly, Goons, 1 for 1 Prince. This is a pretty strong hand. Uh, it can push through a couple times. But let's see how many negates he can put up. Uh, he has Mighty Master, Allure, Souls, Chrono, Servant. Oh my, this is such a good hand. Activate Servant, then Allure. Banish Souls, draws Desires, and into the Void. Yeah, this is, this is going to be not. Draws Abductor. Activates Chrono. Bring out Time Gazer. Also, forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. I'm not on the new mic. Because, well, when you're watching this video, it is my birthday, and uh, I was going to set it up the night before, but then I was busy with some people, and now it's the morning of, and I'm just trying to make some videos because I'm about to go out tonight, uh, so that way the video gets uploaded today and tomorrow, if that makes sense. I know I've been lazy with the mic, but it will be up, it will be up, trust me. I do have it, I'm looking at it right now, but... Just gotta set the bad boy up. It's only gonna take like five minutes. I'm just lazy. 
Uh, Jackal gets brought out, activates Abductor, Link into Crowley, Crowley getting Blue Boy, and then Blue Boy gets Secrets, which gets Knowledge, which lets him draw a Restage and Allure. Man, he's just getting some of the nicest draws. Brings out Blue Boy, activates Mighty Master. Um, so he could Mighty Master pop restage to add the Magician spell. I don't know what its name is. Hey, that's what he's doing. Uh, Magician's right hand. And then Abductor to add Mighty Master. Desires. Draws Mastery and Jester. I just don't think a deck that can't play a decent amount of hand traps right now is good. Like, I don't, I don't know how Rocket FTK won that event. Like, the Mans was playing eight hand traps in a 60-card deck. Like, if his opponent just went first with Rock, like, it's just game. 100% game. I don't know how he won, but shout out to him. Mastery, add reflection, allure, banish jester, activates mighty master, uh, activates instant fusion to bring out millennium eyes. And then makes IP, goes in the Selene, um, then he's going to Pendulum, and then he's going to make Odd Eyes, Selene, bring back Millennium, uh, make Cross Sheep, and then Absolute, bring out Vortex, Cross Sheep, bring out something from Grave, go into another Selene. And then Selene Effect, bring out Mighty Master. Activate Magician's Right Hand. And then End Face have to discard because into the Void, so he has Jackal, Vortex, Mighty Master, Millennium Eyes. Uh, like, IP and, like, Appalooza, maybe? Can't go into Unicorn, obviously. Magician's Right Hand. Uh, Selene to bring out Reflection. Our Mighty Master. Draws Imperm. Imperm on Vortex. Mighty Master Negate. Normal Summon Prince. Oh, wait, he could Unicorn now. Because now he has a card in hand. Yeah, he, he definitely messed that up by imperming first. Brings out unicorns, shuffle back prints, end the battle evenly, vortex negate, uh, chains gamma, jackal negate, one for one, magician's right hand negate. I just got everything negated there. I think he should have summoned Prince though first, because if you imperm, he has a card in hand, then he can Unicorn. Uh, but either way, it was probably game. Millennium Eyes, or I think that's what its name is, uh, could suck up cards out of the grave. Hold, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say because I want to make sure I read the card. But I think that. Since Prince activates, send your goons that you could use it to suck goons at a grave. Not 100% sure, that card's not really meta. Uh, but the opening is T is called by Prince, Minstrel, Nib. So, full combo with multiple ways to get through hand traps. Allure, Chrono, Reflection, Abductor, Allure. But like I said, this is probably one deck that could play through VFD. Summon Prince, Effects, and Goons, add Goons, Goons, Effect, add Minstrel. He already has Minstrel, kind of weird that he added another one. Uh, Minstrel, Effect, 
Pitch Chrono. I don't know if I would have hit Chrono there. Because you'd want to hit that with Moon Glacia. Um. Yeah. I. Well, like, you don't want to go for Abductor. You don't want to go for Reflection. You want to hit the Allures out of hand. I don't know, maybe go for Allure and then try hitting, like, Chrono. Uh, adds Lapis. Summon Lapis. Links in the Needle. Needle Effect. Bring out O-Lion. Link Cross. It's going to be the same combo as Game 1. Oh, no, he's bringing out an extra token. Goes in the Metal. Metal O-Lion. Wait. He... He really added Minstrel instead of Moon Glacia. Like, Moon Glacia is so good. It literally says discard two from your opponent's hand. Goes in the needle, so he definitely messed up this combo. Because uh, he should have been able to discard two from his opponent's hand. Um, make Croc. Croc, draw Imprim called by, and then make the Trish, and then VFD, set Imprim, set called by, end phase gets Chrono to hand. Alright, set called by, and then, it's because it's not end phase, yeah, he just added it, end phase get Chrono to hand, draws Desires. Um, I feel like Moon Glacia could have ripped this hand apart. It's gonna call it Dark with it. Uh, Abductor and then Allure. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna be able to break through this board. Allure. Banish another Chrono. Desires. As long as he doesn't banish like all of his masters. Joel's Abductor Blue Boy banished. Side deck token collector, by the way. Banished only one master. Um. Okay. Uh. So he was like normal summoning abductor, then chose not to. Uh. Honestly, if I was KW right here, I'd have been like, nah, put that on board, buddy. You done messed up. Because that would make Imperm live and everything. I don't know. People misplay. Like, that's on them. It's not on you. Activates Mighty Master. Then uses Master Effect. See right here, he could have chained Imperm on a Ductor for game. Destroys VFD and Imperm, activates Instant Fusion, bring out Millennium Eyes. Hold on, so. Yeah, yeah, what, what I said was right. He, if Prince activates its effects on Goon f for cost, you can Millennium Eyes. And then, boom, take their Goons right out of the grave. Uh, normal Summon Blue Boy, make IP. Pass play, draws heavy infantry, that's a good draw. Summon out Tius, heavy infantry, and Tius. He pops IP. Honestly, was kind of expecting him to pop Abductor there. Normal Summon Minstrel makes Coral. Coral effect, target Prince. I love this card in this deck. This card is so good. Uh, you could use this. Bring out Needle, and then in their turn, tag in the desert. A lot of different combos. A lot of different combos. Prince, that Heavy Infantry, add Goons. Heavy, heavy Infantry, pop Abductor. Battle, Coral Attack, and he's going to use the Mermail Hand Trap effect. Uh, he adds Mastery. Yeah, that was just not worth it at all. Yeah, definitely not. Because that master just turned into mastery, which is just going to turn back into master anyways. 
Draws Upstart, Normal Blue Boy, Effect, Chain Called By on Blue Boy Engrave, Abductor, Mastery, Adds Mighty Master, and then three counters on that since he has two Mastery, um, Upstart, Draws Phantasme. Why would you side? Okay, Phantasme is not a hand trap. It is not a hand trap. It was only a hand trap versus Spiral. Because you have to change what the top of your deck was. And at that point, it still was barely a hand trap. Hand traps are stuff that is like a trap to your opponent. Like, stops them. Does not stop them. Not the hand trap. So I said, like, the Rocket List only played eight hand traps. Because Phantasmi does not count as a hand trap. Let's be real. Activates Mighty Master. Pendulum's out. Master. Phantasmi. Reflection. Um, reflection effect. Target called by. Um, he has to bounce something though. Yeah, this is supposed to go to hand. Wow, what a bot. He didn't even bounce anything with his reflection. Wow, what a guy. Oh, he shouldn't be able to summon this because this is supposed to be in hand. Wow, I don't know if the, whoever this is, I don't know if it's the real one or not, but kind of trash, kind of cheating right now. I'm surprised he didn't catch it either, like this is supposed to go to hand, wouldn't be able to summon out Master, wouldn't be able to pop the board, it would make a huge difference. I guess it really wouldn't make a huge difference, because now you're dropping Nib, but it could have. Really could have. Draws Eliab. <laughs> judgment. Draws Judgment. There's so many better cards you could play going first in this deck. You could play like, uh, man, I don't, I don't even know. Like for stopping your opponent, um, keeping VFD live. You could use a pointer. You could a pointer look at your opponent's hand and just rip the best stuff out of it. After you've already minstreled and moon glaciated them. Set judgment pass. Oh man, this token is huge. He draws souls, but it's just going to be token beatdown for now. Draws prince. Set prince pass. Draws, <clears throat> draws nib. Token attack over prince. Set souls pass. Draws diva. Oh, it... What is he going to do with D.Va? Um, normal D.Va uses effect. Brings out Prince. Makes Relinquished. Alright. Takes Token. Battle. So he's going to attack with D.Va. Um. Yeah, he said zero attack. Oh, that, I, I feel like, yeah, it's definitely zero. I feel like he should have known this. Uh, I mean, is this card gangs attack equal to the equip monsters? How much attack does this thing look like it has? Right here, right now. Has zero. That's how a judge explained it to me when I was asking, just to be sure, like a month ago. Uh, link into, why is there a token there? What? Yeah, it's like obviously that he's still taking the token, he's just not attacking. Uh, makes the water charmer. Brings out Blue Boy. Imagine if he was like, went for like the Celine combo then. And so like Access Code Talker. 
Whoa, beat him for 500. Pass turn. Drops Nib. Uh, Prince, Diva, Relinquish, plus two. Yep, it's enough to get Nibbed. Draw Servant. Nib attack over Token. So he's going to need another good draw. Set Servant. Set Ash. Phantasme. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, no, I don't agree with that. Should've just attacked with Nib and then serve him. You don't gotta get greedy about it. Moon Glacier, well, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd say he could probably drop this. <laughs> uh, it, I don't know why he didn't drop it first turn. Like, it's in the, like, it, it's in the deck for a reason. Draws Nib. Now he's starting to get poked for a lot. This, 3,900. Also, he summons Servant because if it dies, it can just go to scale. Oh, I hate it when people ask stuff like that. Can I check my deck? I don't think I'm out of high scales. Let me check mine. Oh, da da. It's so bad. Like, in real life, you can't ever just, like, ask your opponent at, like, a tournament. Hey, yo, you mind if I just, like, go through my deck real quick? Like, they're. they're like, you, you can't. You can't do that. You've just got to learn how to, like, play with desires and stuff. Learn how to play with desires. Learn how to play after, like, a grind. Draws Valor. Set Valor. Pass play. Draws Abductor. Normal Abductor. Get the beat down going. Um, tax with Nib. And then 17 Abductor. 900 Servant. Draws Tias. Uh, does he have anything to add with it? Alright. Uh, well that's just game. I don't know why he's still in this. Hoping that his opponent links. Yeah, Nib attack over 13, abductor for game. W well, we saw Mermail lose after going first and opening up full combo. Very, very, very weird that he didn't Moon Glacia. Like, he added a second Minstrel instead of adding Moon Glacia. Moon Glacia is, like, the best part about Mermail going first. Like, not, not even the VFD, the Moon Glacia is, like, it's so impactful. I mean, the VFD is obviously very nice. That's why, like, you can actually win. But the Moon Glacia discard too makes it so that your opponent can't do very much. Especially after you minstrel them and everything. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, KW over here for sending in the replay. Shout out to him. A lot of people won't send in replays that they've lost. Uh, so I'm happy that you sent this one in. Um, and I guess I'm just going to use like the end of this video to talk about like you sending in replays. Uh, first of all, if you want to send in a replay... Uh, read the description down below. It tells you, like, my dueling book name, Boss with the Moss. Uh, it has it all capitalized and stuff. Even if I'm offline, you can still send it by going to Profile Viewer, typing in Boss with the Moss, and send message, even if offline. Um, uh, the match should not be, like, a 2-0 that ends in, like, four minutes. Because, uh, like, what am I supposed to, like, commentate that? Like, oh, okay, this guy bricked, he comboed. Okay, now this guy bricked, he comboed. Um, yeah, it, it, I don't know, like, just post, like, get, like, send me replays that, like, you think would actually be good for the channel. Uh, like, not, like, very crisp 2-0s. I don't, I don't know what else to really say about it. Uh, but I do appreciate that you guys send me replays. I've been getting a whole bunch of replays. I've been getting more and more replays from more and more different people. And I like it. I really do. Uh, like this one right here. This one was sent in this morning. Or last night. But I went over it this morning. Uh, so you can obviously get your replay onto the channel. Uh, it's my first time ever talking to this guy. I don't know who he is. But replay was on the channel. Uh, shout out to him. But that's going to be it for the video. Wait. It's not KW. 
There's two V's. Oh my, I messed up this entire video. I didn't even realize till the very end when I went like that. Alright, well, uh, shout out to KV then. Thought it was KW. Um, Alright, well, that's it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe to DB Grinder signing off. Peace.